Hey guys, so I'm back for another video and this one's going to be a really really quick one. Um, I'm just going to do a quick review on the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, as you guys know, I have worn this foundation a hundred times already and I, I know how it is on the skin. So it's not going to be a first impression, just a review because I want a lot of reviews and first impressions of foundations on my channel so that it's helpful to many girls out there that are looking um, for foundations for their skin types, their skin tone and like when they're buying online if they want to see what shade they are. I just want it to just be out there so it's helpful to many girls because I wish there was more girls on YouTube that had my skin tone for foundation so that I could see if I'm their skin shade, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm going to post this up on my channel, it's going to be a super quick video, I'm just going to let you know what the pros and cons are to this foundation. I have, I have it now on but um, I'm just going to apply it and tell you what I like about the foundation and what moisturisers to wear because I have dry skin so obviously this foundation is, for more, is more for oily skin types but um, I obviously have dry skin so um, I just let you know how I managed to wear it because I this is one of my favourite foundations ever. So yeah, I will just go straight on to the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I have the foundation right here and I am in the shade 4W2 which is Toasty Toffee and this is the perfect shade I have out of all my foundations. It just has a really really lovely warm olive tone to it and I just really love it and a good thing about this foundation is that many shades are available with this foundation so there's a foundation shade for everyone so um, they, they even have very very deep ones and I'm not sure about the fair ones but there's a there's a huge color range basically so yeah this is what it looks like the packaging is very fancy the only downside to it I would say is that it doesn't come with a pump um, and mine's nearly empty because I've been using this so much and it says that it's um, stay in place makeup with SPF 10 which is quite good this foundation is recommended for like oily skin types or combination it's not really recommended for dry skin types and right I've done my makeup and everything like my eye makeup and my skin literally feels so dry my like around my nose area I'm starting to get like these I don't know it looks like a desert on my nose I'm not even joking like there's like cracks and everything like my skin's so dry especially around the winter time my skin is just horrible this is why I wanted to do this video to show you guys that even if you have dry skin you can wear this foundation and I will recommend some mo good moisturizers as well I will be using the my beauty blender this is the black one I absolutely love this sponge literally um, I am going to use this to blend my foundation in and I just need to hydrate my skin right now because it's just horrible I hate the sensation of my skin feeling tight like this. So I'm first going to apply some of my Effaflar Duo. This is not as hydrating but the thing is I feel like it really helps my skin look better. This is why I just put this first. I only use it the tiniest amount. Oh, I'm just putting something on my face feels so much better. What is this? Then my holy holy grail moisturizer is my um, Garnier Moisture Match Cream. It used to be called that but now it's called Moisture Nourish Plus. I use the one for dry to very dry skin and this this moisturizer has um, like other moisturizers for other skin types for combination skin, oily skin, for normal skin. There's just many of them and I just use the far end one for dry dry skin and I'm telling you this just sits amazing on the skin. It really hydrates amazingly and it just makes your foundations glide on really really smoothly. So I definitely recommend this moisturizer if you have very dry skin and also if you want to be wearing the double wear foundation. Um, if you have oily skin or combination skin or even on the normal skin side, um, you don't need this moisturizer obviously and I think you'll be fine with this foundation just with a regular moisturizer that you use. But if you have dry skin, definitely try this out. Um, apparently Embryo Lease moisturizers are good but I haven't had the chance to try them yet and they are, they're more on that like, high end side. So maybe one day and I'll let you guys know if I like that or not. But for now, I really like this one. I really like massages into my skin. Gosh, my skin feels a hundred times better now. 
I am going to quickly colour correct my skin and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer but this one's the orange corrector one. I already have a video on this so I'll probably skip this bit. I probably look really weird right now but this is what I do just to hide my pigmentation around my mouth area because I just absolutely hate how it looks under foundation. And whenever I wear full, a full coverage foundation I do colour correct. Um, so yeah, obviously this foundation is a full coverage foundation, it's very full coverage, but you don't need that much. This has lasted me over a year now, and I've worn it so many times, so you get good use out of it. So I'm just going to pour it on my hand. As you can see, I'm running out. So this is what the shade looks like on my skin. Let me just take a bit and like blend it out. Because, you know, this is really helpful to, like, for girls who are looking for their right shade. So that's how it blends on my skin. So as you can see, it's a perfect shade. Um, the foundation is quite runny. But, yeah, just like, if you just want to know about that. <laughs> I don't mind whether it's runny or thick. I don't really care, really. So I just dot this around my face. And what I was le left on my hand, I just like rub it on my neck area. So I'm now going to take my beauty blender and just blend everything out. I, and I also, I really think that if you're going to use this foundation, I think it's best to um, use a damp sponge. Um, my two favourite ones is this one and the Real Techniques Com Miracle Complex Complexion Sponge. <laughs> um, those are my two favourite ones. And the thing is, is that when you use a damp sponge, it really blends everything really nicely. And it, at the same time, it keeps everything hydrated as well. And you're not dragging the product around your face. That's why I use foundation brush is less now. So because I've worn this foundation so many times already I already know how it holds throughout the day and to be honest it does not budge whatsoever even if you don't wear a primer it's just really really good. You can, On top of the moisturiser you can apply a primer if you like um, but I don't really most of the, sometimes I do sometimes I don't but I really like it um, I, when I go to work with it and stuff um, it just stays put and it doesn't budge I don't know, like it's a really good foundation, it doesn't apply patchy or anything and yeah it's a really good foundation for like events or like when you're going out and stuff or even for every day, like you don't need that much to be honest if you're the kind of person that likes to wear like a lot of makeup on a daily basis then this would be a good foundation for you because you don't really need a lot and yeah let me just do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So that's the end of this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, the rest of my makeup really applied seamlessly on my skin and on the foundation I mean, but um, I just really love this foundation and I really recommend it to anyone out there, whether you have dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, I think it's good for everyone even though it is recommended for more oily skin types. Um, and I do really hope you guys found this video helpful and I just thought I'll just put it out there so that it's helpful to some of you. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye!